Hello my friends, Adina here from Plant Sequels Happiness. In today's video I want to show you a new Hoyas that I have in my collection and um, a few of the houseplants that uh, uh, they come back uh, from um, uh, me thinking that they, they are dead but actually they weren't. And uh, new growth on one of my houseplants which I am so happy because um, uh, when I bought this house plant, it was just one leaf cutting and now uh, is growing a new leaf as well. So let's just start it. I wanted to show you first one. I wanted to show you my Hoya uh, Gunungading. How lovely and sun stress it is. Look how beautiful it is. Absolutely gorgeous. I love, love, love the foliage on this Hoya. And uh, because I have a grow light, look how beautiful it is. And it's... Uh, uh, more like a light stress Hoya. I have a grow light underneath of all my Hoyas so for them to uh, carry on uh, growing Look how beautiful and sun stress it is. I love 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 this Hoya. I hope this Hoya is going to grow for me It's a beautiful beautiful Hoya. I'm not sure if uh, has a growth point I don't know if you can see but it's absolutely a beautiful, beautiful Hoya to have in your collection. The second one, oh my God, this is beautiful as well. This is my Hoya AH074. And look, it has a new leaf emerge. Look how beautiful it is. Absolutely gorgeous. I love, absolutely in love with this Hoya. This Hoya, it's absolutely a beautiful, beautiful Hoya to have in your collection. You can see how beautiful the variegation, the silver variegation is uh, on the leaf. Absolutely gorgeous. And I'm so happy because there is the new growth as well. And I can't wait to see uh, what kind of variegation this leaf is going to have. Absolutely breathtaking. Beautiful, beautiful uh, Hoya. I love it. The new Hoya in my collection and I waited for this Hoya for a very, very long time. This is my Hoya Carnosa Chelsea. Oh my God, I wanted this Hoya. Oh my God, for such a long time, but unfortunately couldn't find it anywhere. And at last I found these two leaf cuttings, so I just bought it and I can't wait for this one to grow. I absolutely love, love, love this Hoya absolutely all over the moon that I have this Hoya in my collection. I absolutely love Hoya Chelsea. I mean, it's the leaves, they are very uh, thick, very, very beautiful. And you can see uh, they have like dimples on the leaf. Very, very gorgeous. I absolutely love, 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 love this Hoya. And I'm so happy that I have Hoya Chelsea, uh, Hoya Carnosa Chelsea in my collection. Very, very happy. And I love the pot as well. <coughs> sorry the pot is absolutely beautiful very very nice the next one oh my god i had so many troubles with this hoya and i said okay let's have another one this is hoya uh, sunrise i hope you can see uh, i will show you i don't know if you can see hoya sunrise it's a beautiful, beautiful Hoya to have in your collection. Very, very beautiful. And I love the leaves on this Hoya as well. And you can sun stress this Hoya. Look at that leaf. Absolutely gorgeous. Very, very beautiful. I can wait for this Hoya to flower. Maybe next year is going to flower for me. I hope so. You can see the new growth, how beautiful it is. I absolutely love, love, love this Hoya. I do have uh, cuttings in my collection as well, but not a full pot. And I said, okay, I need to have a full pot of Hoya Sunrise. I absolutely love this Hoya. It's a beautiful, beautiful Hoya to have in your collection. Absolutely love, love the beautiful veins uh, on the leaves. It's a beautiful, beautiful Hoya. And I hope this one is going to grow and is going to do very well in my collection. Uh, the next one, I can show you the new growth on my uh, <coughs> sorry on my Christmas uh, cactus or Thanksgiving cactus. Look how beautiful the new growth is. When I bought this plant, just one leaf cutting, 
and I place it in moss and it's growing and I'm so happy that it's growing for me because this is a variegated uh, Christmas uh, cactus and it's very rare as well. Look how beautiful and cute the new leaf is and I think it's going to be pure white. Beautiful, very very nice. I absolutely love it, love it so much. The next one, it's a baby, but I can wait for this baby to grow. This is my Philodendru mame. I mean, look at those leaves, how beautiful they are. It's just a small plant, but I absolutely love, love, love the leaves. Just only two leaves. Absolutely beautiful. I love the silver uh, splashes on the leaves. Absolutely gorgeous very very beautiful and I love in general I love philodendrons in general and I hope this one is going to grow and is going to get bigger I can't wait for this one to be honest with you very very beautiful and in the greenhouse let me see now the temperature is uh, 15 degrees and the humidity it's 70% uh, so it's quite it's very very good and because we are around Christmas, I bought uh, two of the uh, poinsetta or something like that, poinsetta. Look how beautiful uh, they are. They come in a very small uh, pot. And I can't wait, to be honest with you, to grow this uh, uh, house plant because I love, every year I love to buy a poinsetta and I bought two look how beautiful the pot is it's very Christmassy and uh, I can wait to uh, put them together but after Christmas and I think I'm gonna grow this uh, beautiful house plant I love it the next one which I thought that is going to die but uh, the, but really very happy that she came back this is my um, alocasia uh, pink dragon uh, it's called alocasia pink dragon because the stem it's a pink color and look you can see there are two leaves look how beautiful the leaf is and underneath it's a you can see it's like a maroon color very very beautiful I absolutely love 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 this alocasia and uh, it was just completely dead but I thought okay I'm gonna put it in the greenhouse and see what happened and look at this beautiful leaf very very nice and I absolutely very very happy that she come back and underneath it's more like a maroon color it's a beautiful beautiful color absolutely beautiful beautiful allocation I absolutely love 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 this allocation allocation being uh, dragon the next one, this is a beautiful, beautiful uh, cactus and I had it before but unfortunately uh, didn't grow and didn't do anything for such a long time. So I bought another one. This is my Epiphyllum anguleric uh, fishbone cactus. I absolutely love, 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 love this cactus. Look how beautiful it is. And I can wait next year to flower for me because I love, love, love the flowers on this uh, fishbone cactus. I love, and of course you can see how beautiful uh, the leaf, uh, it has like a texture, absolutely uh, beautiful, stunning. Very, very nice. And I love the way it grows as well. I will show you the new growth. Beautiful, very, very nice. I absolutely love 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 this uh, cactus the next one this the same thing just died but came back and I was so happy this is my uh, uh, verocosum this is a philodendron uh, verocosum look how beautiful it is and this is the new leaf this is an older leaf that I cut it in half because it was dried and look how beautiful it is, absolutely beautiful. I love Philodendron verocosum because you can see underneath uh, of the leaf uh, how beautiful the colors are, absolutely gorgeous. And it's very velvety when you touch the leaf. It's absolutely a breathtaking uh, uh, house plant. And you can see uh, the new, uh, new growth as well. 
I absolutely in love with this uh, plant and I'm so happy that uh, she bounced back and look how beautiful it is, absolutely gorgeous. Very, very beautiful. I am all over the moon happy that uh, this uh, philodendron uh, came back. And the soil, it's a very, very airy soil, as you can see, a lot of perlite and a lot of moss very very uh, beautiful houseplant i am so happy that this houseplant uh, came back the next one this is a beautiful beautiful plant this is my uh, uh, monstera uh, siltipicana and i will show you the new leaf look how beautiful the new leaf is i absolutely love 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 this houseplant and of course this houseplant uh, is in moss because um, I love to grow them in moss and with a lot of uh, bark, as you can see, orchid bark. I absolutely love, love, love this houseplant. I love the uh, silvery color on the leaves and you can see the new leaf, absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely in love with this uh, houseplant. And I'm so happy that it's happy and it's growing in my care. All over the moon happy. Uh, the next one, very, very beautiful Hoya as well. This is my Hoya flagellata. And because it, it stays under the grow light, look at this beautiful new leaf, how uh, reddish and purplish is. I will show you the name, Hoya flagellata. I love, love, love this Hoya because this Hoya has the most beautiful flowers. And I can wait for this one to grow and flower for me very very beautiful house plant so I will show you again my beautiful because we are around Christmas my beautiful variegated uh, Christmas cactus and the new growth very happy that this one is growing and is doing well and of course my two uh, poinsettia I absolutely love, love, love this uh, house plant, and I'm going to grow this year this house plant for the next year to have a poinsettia in the winter time. Absolutely love it. Very, very nice. So that's it, really. I absolutely love that I have Hoya Chelsea in my collection. Very, very beautiful Hoya. Look at that. Uh, they have like dimples in in the leaf absolutely love it love it i absolutely love hoya carnosa in general and i do have a lot of hoya carnosa uh, species in my collection and i can wait for this one to grow i place it in soil so it doesn't have any roots so i place it in soil to get roots look how beautiful it is very very beautiful i can wait for this one to grow the next one, this is absolutely a beautiful Anturium. This is Anturium crystallinum silver. I mean, look at that leaf, how beautiful it is. I hope it's going to go uh, well. It's going to do well in my care and as, especially in this greenhouse as well. Um, I don't know if it's that a leaf. It's a new leaf. Yeah, and I will show you but it's absolutely a beautiful, beautiful uh, house plant. I love the texture and look at those uh, silver lines, absolutely beautiful. I absolutely love, love, love this house plant. It's a beautiful, beautiful house plant to have in your collection and I can wait and I have it in this beautiful pink planter, which is from Ivy Line. I absolutely love, love, love this planter. It's a beautiful, beautiful planter. So uh, another one that I have in my collection, and it's uh, just, uh, I hope you can see it, it's hanging on the pot. This is my Tridescantia, uh, I don't know if it's tricolor, but it's absolutely a beautiful, beautiful houseplant to have in your collection. I mean, the colors on this Tridescantia, they are absolutely gorgeous. And I can wait to grow this Tridescantia, very, very beautiful Tridescantia to have in your collection absolutely beautiful and I love the pot as well but because it's hanging I cannot take 
I cannot take from the where it's hanging, unfortunately. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this uh, video. It's quite short, but next week I'm gonna do a beautiful, beautiful uh, video. I was thinking um, what to buy uh, for someone who loves plants around uh, Christmas. And I do have uh, two of the products which I'm going to sell. As you can see, this is Hoya Bella in uh, a trinket. Absolutely beautiful. Very, very nice. And I have a leaf as well. Very, very beautiful. I absolutely love the way this leaf uh, turned out. And of course, in epoxy resin uh, material. So thank you very much for watching my videos. Please uh, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe uh, to my YouTube channel Adina Kikero Plants Equals Happiness. My channel is all about houseplants, Komur Orer, Hoyas, that are my number one passion, cactus and succulents, planters and pots, and eposy resin art. And if you see something that you like, please you can contact me on my Instagram page Adina Kikero 8, so I'll be very happy to sell if you want to buy a present, especially now around Christmas, and um, cactus earrings as well, any color you like, and of course my beautiful Hoya trinket. So uh, thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and see you in my next video. Have a lovely day. Bye.